Hey well guys, what's going on? This is Jake here from CWC Technologies. Apple just announced their brand new iPad a few days ago. It's going to retail for $329 and will house the iPhone 7 parts inside an iPad Air body, just like last year's, except it housed the iPhone 6S internals inside of it, which means it has Apple's A10 chip and two gigabytes of RAM. It's quite a powerful iPad and a lot of people will be picking it up for school. But every now and then, we gotta take a break from school and work and play a couple games. So I'm going to show you guys my top favorite games to play on iOS. I consider myself a gamer. Somebody plays PC games, console games, and mobile games, but I've always had a soft spot in my heart for mobile games, so things always appeal to me about playing games on my mobile device. One device, or maybe two if you have a tablet, that you pretty much can take anywhere and play really good games on, whether they're ports of old console or PC games, or even games like Infinity Blade that were made specifically for iOS. So without any further ado, and in no particular order, here are my favorite games on iPad. The first game is Critical Ops. Critical Ops is an online FPS shooter with multiple different game modes, such as the Fuse, Team Deathmatch, and Gun Game. You can host your own matches and play with your friends, join random ones, or even go ahead and browse through games to join. There are servers for all regions all around the world. You can find the one that has the best ping for you. This game is completely free to play, and there are no pay-to-win features in it at all. You can actually buy in-game currency to get skins on your weapons but that's it there's no guns you can buy or armors or abilities that give you a leg up over your opponents it's just going to be straight up skill in game and that's what makes this game so much fun it's also a mobile esports titles and there's esports organizations hosting tournaments with professional teams playing in them all the time with cash prizes and all types of other rewards. The matches are really fun to watch and I've even casted a few myself. The game is loads of fun to play whether you're on an iPad or an iPhone. Customizing your HUD is really, really easy. I definitely would recommend it. And the new iPad should run this game absolutely flawlessly. So if you're disappointed you can't buy a PC that can play Chris CSGO, this is definitely a game you should check out. But even if you got a PC that can play CSGO, this is still a game you should check out. It is loads of fun. This next game is called Bullet Force. And if Call of Duty and Battlefield had a child, this is it. Bullet Force was actually developed by one person and is such an amazing title. It is well optimized for iOS and even Android devices. I'm so impressed with how well this game runs on Android. But back to iOS. The game is free to download and free to play. Now, it's not quite like Critical Ops because you can buy currency in-game to buy special weapons. Now, these weapons don't really give you too much of a leg up over the competition. Uh, usually, there is a little flashier and makes, you know, have, have have a little bit of a louder sound and everybody knows you're using them and you're cool because you have the ten dollar weapon but personally i don't find it improves my skill or improves anybody else's skill enough to make it feel like it is pay to win there's also a lot of cosmetics you can get in game so you can change what your character looks like this game runs incredibly smoothly on ios and the a10 soc inside of the brand new ipad will handle this game with no problem at all 1080p 60 fps all day long it is a lot of fun to play if you're more of a call of duty or battlefield fan this is one you definitely should check out call of duty black ops zombies has been out for a very very long time and i'm a huge fan of it i loved playing it back on xbox and the fact that i can play it here on my ipad at any time anywhere i want is awesome especially when kino was my favorite map the touch screen controls are pretty easy to learn and get used to, and after a few rounds you should have no problem playing the game. There is online multiplayer to this, but the game is pretty old and there's really nobody on it at all. However, you can play local Wi-Fi with your friends and family, which is pretty awesome. Of course, they will need an iOS device as well. The game is $6.99 on the Apple App Store and runs flawlessly on all of the new Apple hardware. I have had zero stutters or lags on it. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, also known as KOTOR, is one of my all-time favorite games. It might be my favorite RPG, 
probably is. This game is so much fun to play, whether you've played it on the PC or the Xbox originally, or never played it before, it is a lot of fun to play on your mobile device and be able to take anywhere. Now, it does retail for $9.99, but it is worth every single penny. There's over 50 hours of gameplay inside of KOTOR, unless you've played it before and you probably can beat it in about 30 to 35, that's knowing where everything is at and knowing all of the puzzles to complete, etc. But the game is 100% worth that price. This game features unique characters, creatures, vehicles, and planets. You can learn to use over 40 force abilities, plus you get to build your own lightsaber, you can change it to crystal, hilt, and upgrade it over time. You get to travel to all kinds of different Star Wars locations, such as Tatooine, the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk, and even the Sith homeworld of Korriban, plus much more. You get to travel in your own starship, that is the Ebon Hawk. It's also got controller support, so if you prefer to use a controller, you definitely can use it there. And what's also really cool is you can actually sync this game to your iCloud account, you can pick up right where you left off on any Apple device, as long as you're logged in to your iCloud. It's basically an RPG with a Star Wars skin on top of it, and if you're a fan of RPGs or Star Wars, or both, this game is 100% worth picking up. Don't even think about it, trust me on this one, you will absolutely love it. This is Star Wars Force Arena. It's a card-based game similar to Clash Royale, but the similarities end there. Of course, it is a Star Wars game, so all the cards in it are Star Wars characters, which makes the Star Wars nerd in me very, very happy. There's characters from the cartoon show, movies, and even some from the comics, which is pretty awesome awesome. You build a deck with one leader card, one unique card, and then your rest of your deck consists of common, rare, and epic cards, and you can get cards by completing games, opening free packs, and buying them from the shop, and there's also missions you can complete that will give you in-game currency, such as the crystals and the regular gold that you can pick up and buy new cards with and upgrade them. There are multiple different game modes. This is a 1 versus 1 ranked match, but there are also 2 versus 2 casual matches where where you can play with a friend or family member or somebody from your guild. Now where the similarities from Clash Royale end is you play as your leader character and have complete control over him and can move him around the map. And then you just drop cards on your side of the map or after you destroy one of the enemy's turrets, you can then drop cards a little farther up. You win the game by eliminating more turrets than your opponent at the end of the game or eliminating all the turrets and the shield generator which is back in the middle right of screen right now. Matches can get really intense and are pretty competitive in my opinion. I am playing this game every single day. Once again, the game is free to play and really not pay to win and is a lot of fun to play on the nice big screen of the Apple iPad. Grand Theft Auto is one of the most popular game series in the world, and you can play some of the older titles here on your iOS device without a problem. These games run incredibly smooth, especially on some of Apple's newer hardware. There's games like GTA San Andreas, GTA Vice City, which is my personal favorite, GTA 3, and GTA Liberty City Stories. The game's prices range from $4.99 to $6.99 on the Apple App Store, and there's even a bundle you can pick up that'll save you a few dollars as well, and I personally purchased that. I believe it's $14.99, which will save you about $6, so about one game. GTA on your iOS device is actually really easy to play. I have no problem with the touchscreen controls. Again, it'll probably take you a couple of minutes to get used to if you're new to mobile gaming, but after you do, you'll be playing the game like a champ, and it even has controller support, so if you have a Bluetooth controller that you'd rather use, you definitely can do that. There's many, many hours of game time packed into each one of these games, and they'll keep you busy for a nice long time, and are 100% worth the price tag. Epic Games surprised us all when they announced they'd be releasing Fortnite for mobile. And not a mobile version of Fortnite, but the exact same version of Fortnite that you're playing on your PC, your PS4, or even your Xbox would be coming to mobile. Of course, just with touch controls. The game is a lot of fun to play, and it is even better to play on iPad. I've played it on an iPhone 8 Plus and an iPad Pro 10.5 inch, and I definitely do prefer playing on the iPad with the bigger display. Like I said, the game is the exact same as the PC and 
Xbox or PS4 counterparts. Graphics are really impressive on newer iOS devices. Now the game is locked at 30 FPS, but hopefully there'll be a update in the future to enable 60 FPS because the newer iOS devices should definitely be able to handle 60 FPS. Now the reason I include this game here at the end of this video is because it's not officially out. You still need an invite code in order to download and play this game. Hopefully it'll be out officially for everybody in the next few days and you'll be able to download it. But until then, you will need an invite from Epic Games to play the game, or a friend can send you a code that you'll be able to use to go ahead and start playing the game on your iOS device. But once the game is officially out or a friend can get you a friend code, this game is definitely 100% worth the download and it's free to play. You can log on with your account from PlayStation, Xbox, or PC and have all of your stuff you've already previously purchased or earned from the game, which is absolutely terrific. And there are so many more games on the Apple App Store. If you're a fan of MOBAs, there's games like Arena of Valor and Vainglory. There's even the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise on the iPad. And touchscreen controls with Five Nights at Freddy's, I find to actually be really intuitive and a lot of fun to play, even more so than the PC. It might just be me. Alright guys, so that's the end of my list. Those are my personal favorite games that you can get on your iPad or your iPhone. You can even get all these games on your Android device, but specifically, I think most of them are just best played on an Apple iPad for the optimization of the game and just that big, beautiful screen that the iPad does offer. So whether you got a brand new iPad you just got, or you've had an iPad for a few years, you definitely should check out these games if you haven't already. They are a lot of fun to play. If you guys got an iPad, let me know in the comment section down below which one you got, and if you don't, let me know why. Is it because you don't like tablets, or is it just not worth the money to you because you already have a tablets or I don't know what let me know your reasons in the comment section down below that's all I got for you guys today this is Jake Webb from CWC Technologies signing out and I'll see you guys somewhere soon on the internet peace